what's going on guys in this video we're going to be doing data recovery using Recuva and you can see here I'm connected to my friend's computer he format his computer and by mistake all the files got deleted so let's go ahead and get this started all right you can see I already have Recuva installed here now if you don't have it you can go ahead and download it for free on their website which is ccleaner.com slash Recuva. So you can go ahead, download it, install it. And this tool is extremely easy to use and very friendly as well with the interface. So let's go ahead and open it. Yes. You can actually see his computer is empty here because he formatted it now we'll do next and my friend specifically wanted his pictures and videos he didn't want anything else so I'm gonna do pictures first and hit next then you want to specify the location in which you want to recover the files I will be choosing the C drive so if you have any other location you can go ahead and browse to that location here let's say if it's an external hard drive or whatever the case may be and hit next and I will go ahead and enable deep scanning. And yeah, so let's go ahead and hit start. As you can see, the data recovery process can take several hours. So go ahead, relax, grab a cup of coffee or whatever, and give it some time to do its thing. In the meantime, I will say that if you are able to, I always recommend doing the data recovery from a bootable USB because given the way that memory works in computer if you are doing data recovery from one hard drive to itself it is possible that you overwrite files so remember that also I'd like to point out to you guys that in a recent video I taught you guys how to create a bootable USB containing several tools Kali Linux, Heron's Boot CD, disk cloning tools and more so I'll link that up above and if you go ahead and boot into Heron's Boot CD, the PE version, this Recuva tool is already included in there so it makes a perfect tool for you to boot from a USB and go ahead and get your data recovery done as well. Alright, there we go. You can see once we finish the scan, it goes ahead and finds a bunch of images. Some of them might have a preview available, others not. Now, what we're gonna do is let's switch to advanced mode. And I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these. All right, you can see they're all selected over there. And let's go ahead and do recover. Now, I have an external USB connected to it and we're gonna go ahead and copy the images to this external USB. And the reason we do that, so like I explained earlier, if you're trying to recover images from one hard drive to that same hard drive, you likely overwrite the position in memory which means your files might have a lesser chance of being recovered so for that reason I recommend recovering them to either an external hard drive or a USB All right, now let's give it some time to recover the files. Oh, what's going on? All right, so we ran into two files with the same name. We're gonna go ahead and do keep both files and apply that for all conflicts. All right, there we go, guys. We were able to recover several thousand files. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit okay. Now, if you wanted to do this, let's say for videos or documents, you just have to repeat the process, of course, selecting the right category in the beginning. 
we can also go ahead and take a look at some of these files so let's go ahead and open their location so external Dell 2020 so here we have the files and yeah as you can see we have a lot of these images recovered and I'm sure my buddy's gonna be real happy hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time